The ancient city of Zaria in Kaduna State, home of the Islamic movement in Nigeria, remains peaceful despite persistent protests on the streets of Abuja. This is even as a sect has been outlawed there, according to Governor Nasir El Rafai. Tessem Akene took a trip to Zaria. Agitation by the Shiite sect for the release of their leader has almost become a daily news item. But back to their home in Zaria, all is peaceful. I took a trip to the ancient city to feel the pulse of the people. My focus was on specific locations identified with the movement. And first on the list was Gelesu, where home of the Shiite leader once stood. There is no sign a house once stood here. Not even the rubble remains. In the neighborhood were inscriptions such as these on houses. The next port of call was the Husania ground. And just like the sheikh's residence at Gelesu, not even the rubble could be seen. The vast land has been fenced by the government. That's according to passers-by here. But on the fence are paintings demanding the release of the sheikh. A few meters to my left was where the Husseiniya Mosque once stood. It was converging ground for major programs of the IMN. It's yet to be seen what next will become of the place. I then went round to interact with residents of the ancient city. They told me Zaria, unlike Abuja, has been peaceful. This is the home of Shia, but everything has been peaceful. We are just here the information that what is happening in Abuja. But as of here, we are not having any problem with them as of now. But they also told me the IMN members come out once in a while to demand for El Zaki's release. Yesterday, they came out for a rally at Zaria City. So, but the policemen drove them away. But everywhere is peaceful, Sha. The ancient city is peaceful, and its residents hope it will remain so. Tessum Akende, TVC News, Zaria.